And welcome back to Varsity Sports. Now we shift our focus after all the track and field talk back to baseball. Baseball's and, heating up. Uh, South Dakota, North Dakota, the regular season's winding down mm -hmm. quickly for all these teams. So it's important to be starting to ramp up and play a little bit better. Problem is... Some of the teams are doing it in Class A in South Dakota. Roosevelt's been the number one team for all of the season, but they haven't exactly just taken that number one spot yeah. and, and and grabbed it as a stranglehold well, because the Rough Riders have had some spots where they've gone through some rough patches. They have. Uh, they've got four losses on the season. All the teams that they've lost to, they've been able to avenge in another game, so they can beat anybody except for Lincoln. That's the one team that they have not avenged yet. Only one game against Lincoln lost that in a cold weather game early in the season. But Roosevelt actually split with Huron. Huron not in the top five all season, but uh, Joel Sage tells me that's a team that can really rip the ball and really, he says we probably should have lost both games to Huron uh, the way they hit the ball against us. So yeah, some vulnerability at the top, but still you ask the field, they're going to say Roosevelt is the best team in this class. Beyond them, you mentioned Lincoln. Lincoln's one of the teams to beat the Rough Riders this season. Patriots kind of look like maybe they're one of the more consistent teams out there right now at 8-3. You know, you look at them, you say, I don't know, do they look like a number two team in the state? Maybe not, but who else does? So mm -hmm. they vault up to that number two spot. You've got other good teams like Brandon Valley, Pierre playing well, right behind them. But right now, Lincoln has got that balance of hitting and pitching. I really like what Coach Wes Robertson has done with this team. First year head coach, he's gotten the entire lineup to hit instead of just a couple, two or three stars. Usually in spring baseball, little thinner rosters, maybe only four or five guys can hit. Mm -hmm. This entire lineup has been hitting the ball well, and their pitching rotation, he's been able to use a couple different guys. You look at Nolan Virgil, using him just as a closer has really helped uh, solidify the end of games for Lincoln, so I like the direction they're going. Let's move into North Dakota Class A. A lot of fluidity in, these, in this top five as well. Fargo North has moved into the top, and the record's not overly impressive, well, but if you consider what they've done against North Dakota-only yeah. teams, they're undefeated. Yeah, let's break down this 12-7 and record. They lost four games early coming to the Dakota Board of Battle in Sioux Falls, all against Sioux Falls team, and just this last weekend, were paired up with Roosevelt for three games, lost all three. A couple of those were close, so a 12-0 record, and... In state, they've been pounding the ball absolutely. Mm -hmm. 15 runs against Wapiton. Uh, earlier in the week, got an 11 run game. Last week with Shanley, almost got 20 runs. So, this is a team that can really hit the ball. All right, then, how about Bismarck? This is a team, again, not an overly impressive record, but you like what they're putting out there right now. Yeah, this is a team that can beat anybody in the state, and it's because of one of their aces, Cole Bauer. When he goes on the mound, they can beat anybody. So, if they get the right matchups in the WDA, this is a team that could go and win it all. Only a 10 and 7 record, but they split with Dickinson on Friday, split with Mandan on Saturday, and uh, against uh, Century on Tuesday night had their way with them. So they can beat some good teams in the state. Uh, for more on the power rankings, go to Jason's blog at MickOSN.com. Uh, well, it's tough to underestimate the importance of a good catcher, but being essential isn't easy. Fortunately, we've got the secret to becoming a better backstop. That's coming up next. Varsity Sports Now, presented by Shields. 